So in this video, I'm going to go over how to add refraction to your glass materials in Unreal Engine. It's actually very easy to do and it doesn't require any exports from any software. So the first thing to do is to open up your material. So this glass right here is using this material. And the first thing you wanna do after opening the material up is you wanna create two parameters or two constants. So you can hold in one and click twice, which will give you two variables that are set to zero. And then you want to right click and type in LERP. And what you want is the under math linear interpolate, interpolate. And then you want to right click and type in Fresnel. Then you want to create a Fresnel. And what you want to do is you want to set the first value to one, plug that into A, set the second value to 1.33 and you can also increase this so you can set this to two if you want to increase the effect uh, if you go to one or below or there won't be any effect so you have to have the values uh, different so like this value has to be higher and then you want to plug this into refraction so this is what the structure should look like you zoom in a little bit more put it on me <laughs> maybe it won't all right so you got your two constants, your Fresnel, your LERP, and you plug that into refraction, and the one goes into the A, the 1.33 goes into the B, and then the Fresnel goes into the alpha. And then you can hit apply and save. And then the new material now has refraction that looks pretty realistic. So this is a two-sided model, like you can see the inside and the outside and you can see that it's refracting the environment around it. And you can increase or decrease this effect by increasing or decreasing the B value. So for example, if, if I put 1.1 and hit apply, the effect isn't as strong. But if I were to change this to two, and then hit apply, the effect is actually stronger. So if you want a really subtle refra refraction, you could do something at like 1.05. That'd be a very subtle refraction. And then if you wanted an intense refraction, you can increase the value. So that's how you add refraction, pretty simple. The nice thing about this is you can copy and paste this and use this in any of your glass. Uh, materials and just adjust these values based on the refraction you want and we can also check it out in these objects over here so it's very subtle you can still see that it is distorting those cubes behind and they reduce the speed so you can kind of see it is distorting them just slightly so that gives you a nice subtle refraction and then if you want to bump it up you can always just increase this value so now you have control over it you don't have to worry about messing around with exporting things from substance, you can just do it all in Unreal. And now that we've increased the refraction here, you can see, actually it looks quite nice. It's crazy how powerful Unreal Engine is. So there you go, easy refraction. It's pretty cheap too, in terms of uh, GPU. It's just a very basic effect, it's nothing crazy. Do you pretty nice effect. So let's drop it on this just to see. Let's hit play. Let's like bump this up. If it's sitting on something, it like bugs out. Like if it's like perfectly snapped to something. So as we see the different glass cert like planes, you can see how it refracts and how like the refraction overlaps. So pretty interesting, pretty nice. So to reiterate, you need to hold in one and click to create two constants. You need to right click and then create a Fresnel. And then you need to right click and create a LERP. And you can actually just type in linear interpolate and it's under math. That's the one you want. It might, if you type in LERP, it might take you to something else. And then the structure is you have top value is one, the bottom value is anything like greater than one. So like 1.1, 1 .1, two, three, and so on. So we could do like 1.5. 
and then your A is the one value, your B is the 1.5, Fresnel goes into alpha, and then the output of the lerp goes into refraction. And then you can reuse this structure. You can just copy and paste this and plug this in to any material that needs glass. So that's it for this one. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. And definitely let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.